All right, we got Ed Galoon, Galoon Leathers. Show us around your uh, 2024 boot camp today. You want to take a look at some of your stuff. All right, Phil. Where do you want to start? Here. Let's. We'll start on the near end here. This is a product we developed about three years ago. This is done on a, uh, a domestic U.S. veal, and uh, it's it's actually a chemical shrink that we do in a glutaraldehyde shock, so it gets a ton of character. Real unique. I brought our two most popular colors, which is cognac and black cherry. Kind of a kind of a neat leather. So this is the cognac? Yep, that's the cognac, this is the black cherry. Beautiful. Yeah, it's got a neat, neat hand, a lot of, lot of character to it. Very different. Right? There's, there's, there's shrunken bison out there. I was going to say, I think people would mistake it as a bison. Yeah, but it's, it's actually done on a veal. So it's just a, a little, little more higher end, tailored, bespoke version. And when you so. say veal, what does that compare to uh, like a calf? Uh, well, it's calf. I yeah. mean, this is like, and if you looked at the hide weight where most steer runs from 40 to 60 pounds, these are running 17 to 25 pounds, but this is kind of a proprietary tannage, and uh, we're able to plump it a lot. because There's a lot of yeah. wax and oil in there. It feels thick. So yeah, it's got a, it's got a neat hand. It's good for footwear, good for leather goods. Nice. Works out well for both. So this is a, a newer product called Balmoral. It, about the top five percent of what I produce can go into this because there's nothing on here. Yeah. Just it's it's tanned. It stands so there's a little wax and oil, and then we just roll it through a medium hot roller, and it shows everything. Yeah, it so certainly you can, does. You right can, here. You can, yeah, you can see there's a little little defect in there, but it's very very clean. Otherwise, it's what I would consider a number one. Yeah, yeah. So just made up. We had a couple of bags made up just to show what it looks like in a made up piece of good. Oh yeah. So it feels great. Yeah. Yep. Nice waxy feel. Yeah. Got the same thing in black here. So. And then just like any leather production, you got to figure out what to do with the ones that don't make the grade. Right. So <laughs> this is the same tannage with a little bit more wax rolled on it that we call our pebble cap. So it's got a nice burst to it and just a, a, a printed pebble on there. We can do a variety of plates, but this one really, really works well at hiding God's imperfections. <laughs> right, very yeah. consistent. But that burst is powerful. Yep, a lot yeah, of wax in this. It's great. A lot of wax. So here's our uh, kind of our premier product, our Viking. This is done on our jumbo veals. This, uh, I've got this one shaved to five, but I can go up as high as six, six and a half on this. This is a product that, a lot of veg in this. So I was gonna say, it feels very yeah, veggie. it's about 30% veg. That's why I looked at the, I was yeah. checking to make sure my hand felt, uh, yeah, my yeah. hand no, calipers it's, it's were correct. Got a, yeah. it's, got a, it's got a lot of beef and a lot of stand up here. I got a boot made out of it right here. So that's kind of what it looks like made up. And it's a, it's a, the Viking is all done T-core. So it's all done on a natural base, stained in. How's the break on it? I guess I could super I could tight. Tight. It's super tight. I'm I'm doing it in the belly too. That's yeah. No, that veg really takes a lot of that any type of loose break out of it. So here's nice. the same thing in a in a brandy color. It's a good brown. Yeah. So. Just like anything, we can we can we can dial up the shine on it if we want with a little more heat. That's so, a brilliant muscle. Yeah. yeah so I wonder if this is going to translate because it's very glassy. Um, yeah, like it's a glazed. It, it, it's it's not traditional glaze, but it looks glazed. Right. So beautiful. I, I like that. Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, it, we slow the roll down, heat it up a little bit more, and it, it literally irons that grain down to take on that real. Is there like classic. a wax? Like a wax? On the top? Yeah, it is. It's a rolled wax on top that can handle a high heat so it doesn't burn. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Same, Same thing, thing here, just a lighter weight. This is the chestnut color. So, and I've got I've got some new colors I'm prototyping right now. We're going to be doing a navy, and then I'm coming out with a kind of a brighter cherry base. Just something a little different. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think I like that. Uh, what's What do you call this color? It's a burgundy. The burgundy's yeah. stunner. Absolutely. So this has been kind of a hot leather. I think you and I talked about this is the T-Tot. This is the uh, the light metal derivative of deer. So it, what's interesting about this is it's we're filling the voids with that, it's wax and oil and a proprietary retan that basically fills that void where deer naturally is soft and buttery and you know kind of has that. You can really deer. feel it on the flush side. Oh, it has yeah. like a lot of oil on it. Oh, yeah. This, this is a full, full, fully tan piece of leather. It's stuffed heavy. 
But what's nice is it makes up into a in a beautiful footwear where you know you can t- even sorry to interrupt you can even see the oil like how oh, much yeah. oil is in here yeah that's so, rich yep. yeah well it's it's done in the drum and then we actually roll wax and then we iron it one more time this is the Viking uh, no this is T this is the Teton deer Teton black Teton deer nice I like that a lot too yeah. That that one is in black, you know. Obviously, we we, we do it on the uh, like the sand color here. Huge burst. Oh yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. This has been a kind of a hot color. The cinnamon color. It's got a little bit of red and orange in it. I feel like the deer grain is very specific too. Um, it's like a for people that are familiar with horse. The deer is like an even more intense version it is. to my eye. We do, on this particular Teton product, we actually buff it. Okay. Because it's a wild animal. They're out scratches, ticks, you know, a variety of things. I do have some full grain on here. That is the exact same everything. This is actually the full grain version. Um, Grant Stone's got a product made out of this right now that they're calling Red Wax Deer, and this is it. Yeah, the, the like boots look nice. Two to five percent of what I can collect to make this grade, and we'll do it. <laughs> it's yeah. just a lot of sorting. To I mean, find same, it. same with the horses. Is you just don't get that clarity. No. so many scratches. And yeah, and, then, and yeah. You, you've worked with horse before, so you know. I mean, especially. I mean, I, you know, shell obviously is the reverse part of that. But we, I, I, that's I, a great color. What is, this is this is red. It's, it's cinnamon. cinnamon. Cinnamon is the base color. So. Yeah, you get a lot of this coming through. I like that a lot too. Yeah, it's a neat color. And the grain. Let's like see if I can show the grain, but it's super, super grainy. Yeah, if you look at this, it's kind of hard to see because of the glare, but you can actually see the natural draw that's in the hide itself. I don't know how well it's going to show. Oh yeah, you can see it there a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but just like the the hair hole uh, grain. Oh yeah, is yeah, this like is super specific to deer. Like you kind of only get. Yeah, this it, it's got a very pin a pin like. Hair follicle. Right, right. So beautiful. That's very, really nice. I like the luster on that one as well. Yeah, what's nice is that the full grain because the wax is set up where the the, the the buff version it dives. Yeah. So this is what we do with our shoulders off a horse. We're making linings. Just a uh, we do a wheat and a chocolate. It's uh, really standard, full veg. It feels great. Yeah, it's just you know it works works well for a sock lining or a vamp lining. Yep. So did that in a chocolate as well. Brought those along. So, if, I we're the, make, if we're gonna make butts, I gotta figure out what to do with the oh, shoulders. Oh sure. So. Yeah, and the, the light now for everybody watching, the light here is not doing the best job. This is a, a significantly darker than I'm noticing on the the camera. It's not as like red in person. It's a nice medium medium brown. Medium brown probably. Yeah, yeah I mean that's literally just it's just crust color, clear clear wax and iron. Nice. Oh, that's veg. Yeah, it's pure veg. Veg. Is this veg too? Yep. Welcome. Wow, this is very soft for a veg. So yeah, it's, it's it's done in the drum. It's nice. We're not. It, 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 it would take too long to do it in a pit. Right. We, yeah. we, we we can't do it in a pit. So. Yeah. This is something brand new. This is actually this is our Ashwood elk. This is a farm raised elk hide. What we did is we partnered with a, a meat producer, and he gave me a dozen hides to play with to prove how good it is. We ran this in chrome. It's just literally stuffed in the drum it's wet stuffed ironed and you know we're milling it in the crust and then we're just finishing it with wax and then topping it with a with a bright roll i've never honestly i've never seen elk that's really neat. yeah this is really clean for elk that's why because it's mach- it's it's we're able to machine pull these well they machine pull them and i wanted to i wanted to see if this could have a a play both for footwear and flat goods so i brought one piece but I'm, I'm really happy with what I've seen so far <laughs> on, a, on a very small trial, but I've got a commitment out of these guys where I can get a couple hundred pieces of this stuff every about six to eight weeks. Did you emboss this at all? Or is nope, that the that's, natural, a, that's yeah, a natural pebble. It's got a really interesting uh, grain character to it. Yep, no, yeah. it's just a natural, that's it. We tumbled the crust, that's it. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah. I like that. It's kind of cool. I bet that would make a really cool boot. I, I would agree. I, so this is kind of a fun one. These are the uh, the waxy boar, the waxy wild boar. So you can tell how <laughs> we run this two ways: <laughs> full grain and corrected. This is the corrected version. But really? Even, even there, it's you can very see. Very grainy. Yeah. Well, you're seeing that hair follicle that comes up from that that porcine hair. That it's just super aggressive. 
It sure looks like a boar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's super unique, but it's very cool. So is this is just burnishable. Totally burnishable. Yeah. This is all stuffed in the drum, and then we actually roll the wax it. And I, I purposely tumble these after just to give that little bit of an antique effect in it. But you can see these are some of the scars. If I buff past this, you got suede. Right. So we just. It's almost like the correction, like pronounce the. It did. Where that defect more. was in there, you could see how how aggressively these things are. But these. I like this. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's, it's cool. unique. It's, it's a good unique. look. Yeah. So got another color. Got a few, got a few different pieces in here. So here's the. That one's sand. This is cognac. We do it in a charcoal. We do it in a variety of colors. Again, the, the lighting here is not doing us any favors. I actually think I prefer this cognac. Yeah. Color-wise, personally. I, I would agree. It's like a little bit more orange. Yeah, it's got it's a little... It's not as yellow it, as it's, I've it's seen. It's a warmer color. Yeah. Yeah, the camera's sucking. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. this light isn't it's, particularly We don't have the best here. light, yeah. So this is the full grain version that I call Jabari. Wow, um, look at that. Yeah, this is really hard to get good grades in. So I would say 1% to 2% of what we get is good enough to make. And I, I, you can't even compare this to like a number one grade in a, in a cattle hide from a, from a, like a, a, a traditional supplier. This come up from hunters, so there's still defects in this, just a lot less. Right. So it's just... That, this is uh, also not translating well on the camera here, but that's got a really unique, I don't know about unique, but very like intense. Yeah, here, here, like I don't know if the camera can actually pick that up, but you can see the natural boar grain in there. You can see the hair follicle, yeah. which is real aggressive. And it has a natural draw to the hide regardless, so. I like that too, that's yeah. really neat. I'm just so used to seeing bovines and equines. Yeah. Like, this is special to me. Yeah, it's a little different. This is the, uh, the, the regular waxy bore. This is just a different color. This is the olive. And there it almost looks like a rough out. Yeah, it's because we do an aggressive correction on this. Same high, this is just the charcoal version. So that's cool. I like how it highlights. Yeah, the charcoal translates really well. It's Some like a contrast in there. Yeah, it gets a nice high low to it. So yeah, it's fun. So this is kind of something new that we were working with. This is a full veg horse butt. Oh, and man. look it, at that grain. Yeah, it's got a real, real aggressive grain. And, and, and it, it varies from skin to skin. I mean, if you work with horse, you, you've seen, we've done, we made an effort to try and enhance the natural grain. So we don't, when we dry these, these are toggle dried, obviously you can see the, the pieces on them, but then we take it off before it's fully dry and then we hang them and let them pucker a little bit more. So, you know, we're trying to make this a little different. So this is a seven ounce full veg, and we're stuffing in the drum. It's wet stuffed. Can't we? We don't hot stuff. It's just not. A, gotta have the right equipment for that. So yeah. we we, uh, we work with what we've got. So the navy's a new one of the newest colors. Are you, you call it horse rump. Um, you have problems? Any challenges getting it to be that full seven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bellies drop way off, and the fiber structures are so different throughout the whole hide. So in between the shells. And then out towards the bellies are really, really, <laughs> the, the, grains, the grains fight each other. It's nice. So I've got one in here where you can see when, when I say they fight each other, this is what happens. You get this ripple. And the shoe guys can wet this back and pull it over the last and make it work. But in the tannery, it's a nightmare. I mean, it really is. Because we're right up on the shell here. And right in between it, it's soft. It's soft. And then we got this hard shell. So we, we run into a battle. I mean, you've worked with horses. Before. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, a, Not it's, the a, easiest. it's a unique animal. The results are typically good. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's just a lot of work to get it there. So so then we've got, I've got a handful of different colors in this. So I got a navy, olive, pretty pretty standard line. So here you can see some of the wax set up in there that didn't get polished This out. is all, I think a lot of people are looking for this effect right now right. from what I see. It, and it's, like, it's a cool effect. I just, every skin, some have them, some don't. Can't control it. I yep. can't control it. So I, I can't really, I don't really sort for it. it. It's just, we sell it as is. So. Yeah, that's awesome. This is horse, horse yep, butt. That's horse butt. Horse, yep. horse Rustic butt. horse butt. That's what we call it. I like that. Good, good feel on it too. Yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of body. I mean, well, it's veg. It's got a ton of stand up. So. And we're messing around with some bison. Um, this is our waxy bison series. It's a it's a chrome version. So, you know, it's 
kind of it's it's it's, it's kind of, I don't want to say it's more of our a, a basic standard leather for us, but it is. I mean, it's literally a, a, a semi chrome that's soft. We mill it, top it. It's got a nice nice buttery hand to it. So sure it's got does. a good pull up. I like the the depth on this one where those peaks. Yeah, I've been I've been really into that depth, like the peak color the, of the texture where yep. the peaks are a little darker in the valleys. Show yeah, off the, some of that crust. And the ironing because the bison has so much natural character to begin with, so it's got that high low valley. It allows it, it allows it to be able to tip it a little bit, so it gives it some depth and character. So we did a, a, a few different colors in it. There's a charcoal. There's a cinnamon. I like the cinnamon. Wow, that's been a very popular color. It's nice. It's not too red, right? It's, it's no, like, it kind of goes off. Yeah, it's uh, towards the cinnamon. It, it's got red and orange in it. Like just red enough. Yep. But it still reads a little brown. Yep. What was that cone like a cognac or something? Yeah, like a, it's like a. That's nice too. Yeah, I mean, there's probably a better name than cinnamon, but that's what we evolved to. Right, right. <laughs> you know, right. for a while, I forget. Yeah. You forget how hard it is to name leather. So. Oh, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. So this is something new. This is the, the, the basically the light metal tannage that we're doing in the deer. We wanted to try it on bison. So this is a corrected version, which it's okay. I like it. But I'll tell you where I really think this thing excels is when we get up into the, oh, that's a waxy. Here, this is the product we're calling Sheridan. This is the first time I've shown this. So this is the, we did it in the same basic color line. This is the olive, but it take it fills the voids of where bison tends to be loose fiber structure. Sure. And it plumped it, almost makes it look shrunken. It's just the natural character filled. Yeah, this this so. feels really nice too. Yep. I like that. Yeah. Here this one's got a little bit more pop to it. So this is the sand base. And here's the cognac base. So that's brand new. I mean, we just, this is the first time anybody's seen it. I literally got these out of the tannery on <laughs> on Wednesday. I did. I yeah, picked them up on the way to the airport. Today. I was like, okay, were they done? He's like, yep. Literally pulled them off the iron. They, this has that glazed look again. It's a, it's it off is. a hot finny flex. So we used that same wax that we put on the calf. I like that. Yeah. That's nice. And what's this? Uh, a little experiment we're working with on some calf. So what? <laughs> just like any hide, you get you get products that you don't know what to do with because the grading isn't great. So on this one, we we did a deep buff on it and we impregnated the grain and then we used a uh, a foil transfer. Oh, really? To make a patent. So I brought this in for a customer here. I want him to make up some boots on it to see or some shoes to see if it'll actually produce well. So the I'm, biggest problem with with, with yeah. patent tends to be orange peel. You know, when the grain pops up underneath it, when they turn the last. And I wanted to see if these guys could make this thing work. But it, I'm really happy with what I've seen in the trial. So Yeah, very flat. Yeah. just I was impressed with the lack of uh, delamination, to be honest. That's what I was... Yeah, well, that's what the impregnation does. It helps yeah. give it a better surface to adhere to. So rather than rolling the urethane on, this is a little This different. is the most unique leather at the show here today because most everything is, you know, it's very, cool. very natural. This I brought this just to do something different. Oh, so, yeah, it's cool. You, you want to give us just a peek at some of the beautiful stuff you got yeah, over here, Yeah, well, we had some, I had some customers make up some, some products for me. Like, on this, this is the, uh, the cognac shrunk and calf. We did a, a lady's tote out of it, but I mean, it's, you know, because that shrunk has such a unique character, it really makes for a beautiful product. We had some dop kits made up. I had a, yeah, uh, cool. a really cool backpack done. Uh, oh, here's a, this is one of Vince Romano's boots from Truman made up in our Viking calf. He was kind enough to make me up some show samples, which is awesome. Thanks, this is, Vince. Yeah, <laughs> this is the Balmoral uh, made up into a duffel. So my friend Mario made those. So it was kind of nice. It's just good to be able to put something into a finished product so people can see what it looks like. Because I think it's hard to imagine. What seeing these... it on the rack is one thing. Translating into a finished good helps a ton. 100%. So, well, hey, thank, thank you very much. Adam. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Good to meet you in person, too. Yeah. Finally.